Hello everyone, today I'm redoing the little basic beanie uh, pattern that I have on my um, channel. It's, it was done quite a few years ago and it's kind of dark so some people said they wanted it to be redone. I have made it for the adult size and I gave you instructions on how you would change it for the ch uh, baby. Um, also below the video in the video description box I will have some suggestions for different hook sizes for different sizes so go ahead and go there we're just going to be using a J, uh, J hook which is a six millimeter hook and uh, you're going to need some yarn I'm, I'm using a medium weight uh, acrylic yarn here from Caron Cakes you can use whichever kind of yarn you want as long as it's like a me I recommend a medium weight so let's get our tools together and let's get the party started Okay everyone, to begin, I'm going to be using a medium weight yarn, this is acrylic, and I'm using a J hook, which is a 6 millimeter. If you're going to be using, uh, making it for a male, like an adult man, I might go up to a size K. Um, I am just going to be using uh, this this uh, Caron cake, and it's a weight 4, um, and I really like these because they kind of change the color. But if you're using a solid color, remember you could change your colors whenever you want. So here to begin, there's two ways. You could either start it with a magic loop, which is, um, um, sometimes some people have a little hard time doing that. So if you don't like doing the magic loop, you could do five chains and then slip stitch into the first one. So here I'm just going to make my little loop. I'm going to start with the magic circle. I'll bring that loop in front, then bring that to the back, grab my yarn and then I'm going to chain one, two, and three. Now these three chains are going to count as a double crochet so my first round here we're going to be working around I want to do 11 double crochets in here so I could have a total of 12 including this um, this one here so this is one and I'm going to do 11 more to do the uh, double crochet you're just going to yarn over meaning you grab your hook you wrap it around the, the yarn like that then you're going to go into that circle with that hook you're going to grab the working yarn you pull out you should have three loops of yarn on your hook the one that's on the hook and then two more and you're going to grab that yarn again the working yarn pull it through the first two there'll be two loops left and then you pull it again through the second and that creates a double crochet you don't want to close the circle until you have done all your um, 11 more in there if it gets too big you could pull it a little bit because it's harder to control so here I'm just going to go ahead and hold on to this so it's easier for me to kind of control the circle from getting too big I'm going to yarn over again and I'm going to do the remaining 10 stitches so here if I look at this the first three count as one so that would be one two three and I'm going to continue doing this until I have the total of 12 including this this I'm counting this as one okay here I've done all my 12 stitches so now I can pull this to shred it and remember I said if you don't like doing this uh, magic circle you could do um, the six change and then slip stitch into the first one to create your circle so here to close this round I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain here one two three because that was um, considered a double crochet so I'm just going to uh, stick my hook in there and grab the yarn without yarning over so that becomes our first round now here to go up here and in every other round you're going to chain three one two three now remember this counts as a double crochet the loop on the hook does not count as a stitch so here I need to do an increase meaning I want to do two stitches and er two double crochets in every stitch so here I'm going to go back into that same little space, yarn over, and do my second double crochet. So that's two right there. And then in the next stitch here, I'm going to do two double crochets. So I will have an increase in every stitch. At the end of this round, I'm going to have 24 double crochets. This one first had 12, and now here I'm having two in each one. So I'm going to go ahead and do all my 24 double crochets. And when we come back, we'll slip stitch together and go on to our next third round. So that's all we're doing here is increasing it. Okay, here as you can see, I'm at the last stitch. And it is starting to cup a little bit. It's not flat. But that's going to help get the shape of the hat. So the little beanie here. So here I'm going to do my last two double crochets. 
Okay, for a total of 24, to close once again, one, two, three, into that third chain with a slip stitch. And I'm gonna repeat what I did for row, uh, for the round two. I'm gonna do uh, two double crochets in every stitch. So once again, I go up with three chains, go into that same stitch again to do my second double crochet for my increase. So it'll be two double crochets in every stitch. And when I finish this, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and every stitch make two double crochets and I will have a total of 48 stitches. So we are increasing the size of our hat. It's This is like a really basic um, a beanie hat that I use for a lot of my character beanie hats, different faces or whatever. Um, there are other patterns I have also that are not this one but this is like super easy and a lot of people can learn even the beginners can learn how to make all the hats and remember you're going to determine the color or style by the kind of yarn you use um, I would recommend a medium weight yarn for this hook because that's the size that is appropriate for that hook so I'm going to go ahead and make all my two double crochets in every stitch and we'll come back and go on to our next row okay so here I'm coming to the end I've done my last uh, uh, two double crochets here so I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three and now here if you're doing this for a, like a little child a baby or something like that then from rounds four to twelve you would just do one double crochet in every stitch I gotta apologize my neighbor's kids are revving up their engines out there so if you're going to do it for adults or like even teenagers they're they may have more hair or have it more um a bigger head then I would uh, do this this round with four row, round four with some increases if you're just doing it for babies and just go ahead from four to twelve you can just can continue by doing one single one double crochet in every stitch so here I'm going to show you how you would do the increases for adult sizes teenagers and adult sizes uh, so here uh, I just chained three to go up so that's one I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next five and then on the sixth one I'm going to do an increase so here as one and then I go here two three four oops, five okay so here my first five stitches including here are one double crochet in every stitch so here's one two three four five and then on the sixth stitch you're going to do an increase so you'll do two double crochets and you're going to repeat that all the way around okay so now that is the pattern one double crochet in the first fifth five stitches and then on the sixth stitch you do your increase so i'm going to continue doing that all the way around one two three, four, and five. And then on the sixth one is where I do the increase. And I wanted to remind you that there is like a little gear button somewhere down here below the video, uh, right here. And it looks like a little uh, spring or gear. If you click on that, you can change the speed of the video to make it go quicker or slower, depending on what you would like. So this is a pattern you're gonna repeat all the way around. And so we're gonna do that and I'll come back and then we'll go on to our next rounds. Okay, so here I'm coming to my last uh, stitch here. So I'm gonna do two double crochets and then to go uh, up, I'm gonna slip stitch into that third chain again. And then I am ready to go up to my next stitch. So here's one, two, three. Slip stitch in there. And I wanted to show you here, let me pull this out, that it is getting a little wonky. That's okay, that's what it's supposed to do. Once you start working more rounds, it'll start giving more of that little beanie shape. Now, for this, if you wanna make your beanie uh, to just, uh, fit right like above your like right around your eyebrows or around cover the crown of your head and just go around your ears then you were going to work a total of 12 rounds from here now here's one two three four from rounds five to twelve 
you're going to do only one double crochet in every stitch. If you were doing it for a baby, then it would be four to 12, one double crochet. Now, if you want to be able to wear this beanie and then fold it up afterwards, you're going to add an additional three rows, so then you would have 15 rounds. I'm just going to do this for the 12 to show you what it looks like. After I show you that, then you could, if you decide you want to add more rounds, you can um, to fold it over. So here, now for rounds five to 12, I'm just going to chain three, one, two, three, and then go to my next stitch because that's my first double crochet. And from here on out, only one double crochet in every stitch. No more increases and it will start shaping. So don't, don't worry, it will start working there. So, okay, so here I've done all my 12 uh, rows. And so this will be the kind that just goes right over my forehead and over my ears. So here you could see that this kind of yarn, it changes the tone. So if I was to do a shawl, it would make it, you know, use all the tones. This is just a hat, so I just use the first two colors on there. So here, to finish off, you don't have to do anything else other than to just slip stitch into that third chain like we've been doing. Pull that out, cut your yarn. Now, if you wanted to fold uh, the brim up on itself, you would need to do three more rounds but this is just for a regular little beanie. And then you just need to get your yarn needle and sew this tail into the, the work itself. But that's it, it's all done. And now you can see how it's taken that, that shape, little beanie shape. So that's it, that's just um, all you need to do to get your little hat, use whatever colors you want. Once you have your basic hat, you can add, you know, other things like your face. You could add little buttons. You could do whatever you want on here. And uh, I have seen some that they do the top with blue, then this bottom with green and put little cars or different things on there. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell button there so that you could be notified whenever there's a new video uploaded. Have a great day. And remember always that God loves you.